I have several videos on YouTube of me playing these pipes, the, um, double pipes, Scottish double pipes, kind of a kind of a takeoff on the Cornish double pipes. A number of people have asked me uh, how I, you know, came up with these, how you play them, how they work, and so forth. So I thought I'd do a separate video on that. It's just two Gibson, ordinary Gibson, off-the-shelf polypenko practice channers with ordinary Gibson reeds. The uh, trick of it is I copied the note system from Julian Goodacre's uh, Cornish double pipes. And... For practice channers, essentially what you're doing is on one channer plugging the uh, thumb hole, the high G hole, the F hole, the E hole. So that channer is just for your low hand. So it plays low G, low A, B, C, and D, and that's all it plays. Now on the other channer, you plug the B hole, the C sharp hole, and the D hole and leave all the other holes open. So that's the channer that's dedicated for the upper hand. Now the difference is, and it's a byproduct of Highland pipe fingering, is that on the uh, the low hand channer, since these holes are plugged, you can play those low notes. But because of Highland fingering, whenever you're playing a note in the upper hand, the low hand is fingering low A. Likewise, due to Highland Pipe fingering, whenever you are playing a note on the low hand, the up, this channer is playing low A, because these three holes are plugged. So the, whenever these four fingers are down, this channer is playing low A. And what that means is when you're playing lower hand notes, this channer is playing low A. When you're playing upper hand notes, this channer is playing low A. It's what they call a virtual drone. And it's so crucial to get both reeds exactly matched in volume, in timbre, uh, and in pitch to give that illusion because you, you're actually shifting the drones back and the drone note back and forth between the channers. But if everything is matched, you don't even really hear it. So to demonstrate that, I will go back, I'll play D and E like this, and the drone note, low A, is shifting back and forth and see if. Uh, how apparent that is or how smooth it is. <sighs> The actual drone it was uh, shifting back and forth between the two. So, what that means is you can play just using ordinary fingering and not having to do anything different, and it'll just play like an ordinary channer, except you've got that drone going all the time. Two, of course, then you can bring in the other hand. Now the harmonies are very limited because, you know, obviously when you're playing upper hand notes, you only have so many notes in the lower hand available. So let's say if the, I'll try to demonstrate that. So if uh, I'll play various notes on the upper hand and uh, demonstrate how they sound with different notes on the low hand.
so there's it's really limited what you can do uh, with harmony. So all less you can than you can do with two pipers on ordinary pipes. Now, I don't feel when you finger lower when the melody's in the lower hand. I don't feel it works very well to play harmony in the upper hand because the due to the way the chanter sound the notes just jump out uh, too much. But just to demonstrate to take the channers out and just to show you individually what each channer plays since these are all plugged. <laughs> That's all that channer does. And then this channer just does this. Now the stock, which is like really cool, was made by a guy in um, Dunedin, New Zealand named Yuri Terenyi. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce his name. And he makes medieval bagpipes. So he made this, I told, told him, you know, the diameter I needed for the Gibson practice channers. And uh, he drilled that and he said, you know, what angle do you want? And I thought about it. I want to, uh, you don't want them exactly parallel. They're going to hit, the bottoms are going to hit each other. You have to, you don't want it like going out crazy like this. So just a slight angle. He made the blowpipe, and he made the bag, too. It's a leather bag, which has held up for years now with uh, not ever needing seasoning. And I made the bag cover, which is, looks amazingly like our couch. Anyway, that's really all there is to uh, explain. So these are just ordinary Gibson off-the-shelf practice channel reeds. I went through 40 or 50 reeds to find an exactly uh, matching pair. They have to be the same pitch, the same timbre, the same volume, uh, or, or the thing just won't work right.